let's do a test of significance on a population parameter mu, the mean of a population, when we know the population standard deviation. Here's the problem. According to the United States Census Bureau's American Community Survey, the national average commute time to work is 24.3 minutes. The CEO of a large company believes that the average commute time for her employees is greater than the national average. Suppose it is, suppose it is known that the standard deviation of commute times for all of the company's employees is 5.5 minutes. The CEO determines that the mean commute time from a simple random sample of 40 of her employees is 25.6 minutes. Use a test of significance to test the CEO's claim at the 0 0.05 significance. We are going to use our recipe for test of significance. The first thing we do in a test of significance is identify the parameter of interest. In this problem, we are interested in mu, which is the mean commute time for all company employees. Once we know our parameter that we are going to test our claim ab about, we want to name the test that we are going to use in our test of significance. We have a single population here, and we are testing a claim about the population mean with known standard deviation, known population standard deviation. We will use the one sample Z test. What are the conditions necessary in order to perform a one sample Z test? We first need a simple random sample. Do we have one? Yes, we selected a simple random sample. The second condition is that X bar is either normally or approximately normally distributed. Do we have that condition met in this problem? Our sample size is 40, which is greater than 30, so by the central limit theorem, we do know that X bar is approximately normally distributed and our two conditions are met. Now we want to name our null hypothesis both in English and in symbols. Let's start with the symbols. Our null hypothesis, H0, is that the mean commute time, mu, equals 24.3 minutes. We want to know whether the company's mean commute time for all of the company's employees is the same as the national average of 24.3 minutes. In English, we have the null hypothesis is that the mean commute time for all company employees equals 24.3 minutes. The alternative hypothesis, we have to decide whether it should be one-sided or two-sided. The company CEO believes that her employees have a greater commute time than the national average. So we will have a one-sided test where our alternative will be that the mean commute time mu is greater than 24.3 minutes. In English, we have that the mean commute time for all company employees is more than 24.3 minutes. The next step is to construct our test statistic. Our test statistic is a Z test statistic because it is a, it is a one sample Z test. The Z test statistic is given by X bar minus mu naught divided by the population standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample. Let's plug in these values. Our sample mean from our simple random sample of 40 employees is 25.6 minutes. Mu naught, we are testing whether the, mu, the mean equals 24.3. The population standard deviation is 5.5 minutes. And our sample size is 40. When you put this into the calculator, you get a test statistic of 1.49. We now need to sketch the sampling distribution of our sample statistic and compute the p-value. Let's do that on the next page. 
Our test statistic is 1.49 and our test statistic Z has a normal 0, 1 distribution. So let's graph the normal 0, 1 distribution and locate our test statistic. It is 1.49. Our alternative was that mu was greater than mu naught, which equals 24.3. That means we have a one-sided test. The p-value indicates all values that are more extreme than our test statistic. This shaded region right here is our p-value. How do we find out the value of our p-value for this test? We are looking for the probability that a normal 0, 1 random variable is greater than 1.49. To get this probability, we need to go to a standard normal table. Let's do that now. In our standard normal table, we look up a z-value of 1.49, and we see that the area to the left of that value is 0.9319. The area to the right of it, which is what we are looking for, is 1 minus 0.9319. And our p-value equals 0 0.0681. We have just completed step number seven from our recipe, and we are now ready to decide what we will do by comparing the p-value to the alpha level. The problem tells us that we want to use a significance level of 0 0.05. We see that our p-value of 0 0.0681 is greater than our alpha level. This means that we will fail to reject the null hypothesis. The last thing we want to do is state our conclusion in English and in context of the problem. Our statement reads, because the p-value equals 0 .0681 is greater than alpha of 0 .05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis that the mean commute time of all company employees is 24.3 minutes. Our sample of 40 employees does not yield evidence that their mean commute time is any different than the national mean commute time. And we have just completed the test of significance.